Welcome to today's Golly Blessing, 30th of January. We are back over here. I'm back in Darjeeling. And we are here talking about becoming an instrument and becoming humble enough so that whatsoever kind of service which we do, it is actually something which people feel egoless and people can connect to it and they can feel that, yes, this is what I needed to hear. So that's where God is saying that there's a method of doing service and you have to check whether that humility or whether that sense of being an instrument is there or not. So let's hear from God himself. What does he have to say? He has the words, may you use your speciality of an instrument and of being humble and go fast and come with the first number in service and become an embodiment of success. So God says, while moving forward, doing service, any form of service, remain aware of your speciality of being an instrument and having humility and you will become an embodiment of success. That means whatsoever form of service you're doing, whether you are doing Brahma Kumari service, whether you are at home and you're taking care of everybody, whether you are in your relations, whether you are with your friends, whether you're taking care of your business or your, or your organization or your job, it is important to have this quality of being an instrument and of being humble. Wherever we think about I, me, myself, my idea, my method, my ways, I was the best. That's where the conflict arises and that's where everything goes towards the wrong direction. Especially people have bad feelings towards you and people then have low expectations. They will not come up to you for any kind of work in the future or they'll abstain. They look to somebody else because they want somebody who's humble enough to understand their ideas. So God then says, just as you are clever in running around doing in service, in the same way, become clever with these two specialities. When you do this, you will go fast and come first in service. Now, if somebody has got any kind of ego, obviously there'll be resistance in doing service. Now that service, instead of you having it done in a very simple and very easy manner, very normal, very, very, very subtle manner, you'll find that many people can go against you, your ideas, and it becomes difficult to take that form of service ahead or even to finish that task. So that's why God says, use the quality of being an instrument and use the quality of hum humility. And that's where you can actually take the choice of stepping back and letting others go ahead. But if you have the greed or the hunger of name, fame and wanting our name ahead and letting our boss know or letting our family members know that it was me and because of me it's done. And that's where the problem arises and people generally don't like to listen to anybody who's bragging and boasting about themselves, right? So if you want to be somebody who everybody accepts, who everybody likes and who everybody can actually work together with, then humility is one very important quality as a leader, by the way, and it can be a leader in any field. So God then says, when you do this, you will go fast and come first in service. Do service while staying with the, within the lines of the codes of conduct of Brahmin life. See, Brahmin life is not just when you go to the center. It's not just when we are doing any kind of service. While staying at home also, we are under the codes of conduct of Brahmin life. And by considering yourself to be a spiritual server, that more than helping anybody out financially, physically, mentally, emotionally, we are first a Brahmin and a spiritual being and we are going to think on the basis of spirituality, that I am using humility, patience, tolerance, kindness, generosity in getting that service done or am I using the negative traits which will bring me difficulty and also will bring about some form of resistance, smaller or bigger. You will become an embodiment of success when you're using the spiritual method. You will not have to work hard. Now that is the secret. Whenever we are working hard or whenever we feel too tired of doing things and we are too tired, that means some way or the other we have exhausted ourselves by using an impure nature as compared to a pure nature of looking at things, of visualizing how it's supposed to be. If you're trying to change people a lot, that's where also we get tired. 
if we are trying to change people's ideas, make, trying to make them work towards us, or if we are doing groupism, that means two two people giving different ideas and there's a conflict between them and you groupism and we are complaining about how they are bad or they don't understand and those people are talking ill about you and that's where we drain ourselves out and that is what God says don't do it. That is not humility, that is not about being an instrument and that's where majority of the organizations and uh, many of the tasks they fail. So this is what we learn in Brahma Kumaris in a simple manner. You two can come ahead and learn this beautiful knowledge and make sure that you have that quality of humility as a leader. Om Shanti.